Now, I want to play for the audience the the section I heard you taking particular issue with on the question of whether he feels guilty. Listen. No, no. I feel that there is, I, I feel that, that, that uh, someone is responsible for what happened, and I can't say who that is, but I know it's not me. I mean, I, I, honest to God, if I felt that I was responsible, I might have killed myself if I thought I was responsible. So why did you not like that? I, look, they, there was an easy way to thread this needle if you're insistent on um, throwing yourself on the grenade, as obviously he is. The the You say, do I feel guilty? Yes, I feel horrible guilt in a moral sense. But legally, do I feel responsible? No, I would never have done this, blah, blah, blah. I mean, there's a way to thread that needle. This response, he is going to get... You know, I don't wish a criminal prosecution on anybody in the world. I mean, it's the worst thing in the world but to, to go through. But he's going to have this thing at a very baseline level jammed right back up at him in civil lawsuit, deposition, um, all kinds of ways. And it's a horrible, horrible look. And by the way, you had mentioned Scott Peterson in the GMA. As we're talking right now, as we speak, the judge in uh, in Mr. Smollett's case is re- apparently reconsidering the GMA interview there. I mean, they, one of the things I'm going to have a, and I had mentioned Susan McDougall, one of her kind of bet noirs uh, in her prosecutions was the GMA interview. So God knows if you're a criminal defendant, that's the axis of evil is to ever get on the GMA, I'll tell you. Do not do the GMA interview. Anything um, but GMA. <laughs> yes, you know, GMA is like they're big. ABC in general is very big on crime. So that's why they get all these exclusives because they've made that part of their beat. Um, what would you do with that? Like if you had Alec Baldwin on the stand and you were representing um, Helena's uh, family, you know, she was a cinematographer who got killed or some of the other guys that filed lawsuits who witnessed it for d- emotional distress. What would you I do with that lawyer Alec Baldwin who's, statement? There, yeah, there's a lawyer who's co-counsel, I think, with Gloria on one of these um, uh, lawsuits. And I know exactly what they are going to do with it. They're going to take that. They're going to they're going to jam it right back up. What do you mean you don't feel guilty? Who do you know that was responsible if it wasn't you? Why are you saying that? Why are you shirking your responsibility? By the way, um, every actor from John Schneider on the right to George Clooney on the left has already said this is an impossibility if you were careful. Blah, blah, blah. They're going to do a tap dance on him. And by the way, he's going to walk himself into, you know, they've only got a tower, apparently, if you believe what's being reported of $5 million in insurance. Um, He's going to walk himself right into blowing through that tower and being personally responsible Mm -hmm. on top of it. So I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know why they think that image control is job number one. Job number one is to keep you out of harm's way criminally. Job number two is to deal with the civil liability. Job number three is to make amends morally and ethically for, you know, your role in this horrible, horrible situation, which I don't think it was intentional in the least. I don't buy any of the conspiracy theories, but at the same time, how do you, you know, he could have said the the obvious solution is it's very difficult for me getting up in the morning because I was the last person who um, cocked that gun, whether I pulled the trigger or not. I feel an enormous, enormous um, uh, amount of guilt in a non-legal sense over that. Right, right. And the more he blames himself, the more our instinct would be to let him off the hook, right? Like, if you see him really Correct. beating himself Correct. up, right? But he, he he's not, doing the opposite. I explain this to clients all the time. Remorse is you can't fake remorse. You can't you can't get up. I mean, people can sense that whether it's a jury or a judge or a fact finder. Either you're authentic and you have remorse or you're a phony and you don't. I mean, remorse, by the way, that tape you played earlier of uh, the officer who Kim shot Potter. Dante, um, that to me is real, authentic remorse and immediate angst. Yeah. Uh, so, Alec, um, he didn't have to do this. He's been speaking with the police. Right. And so in trying to stave off legal charges, that's the avenue. Talk to the sheriff, have your lawyer there, make sure you're giving them all the information. Um, he appears to have ticked off the sheriff with that Stephanopoulos interview, because let me play the soundbite that Alec 
um, said that that seems to be getting him in hot water because the sheriff has now responded publicly, which is not what you want. Here's uh, Baldwin on whether he actually fired the gun. So I take the gun and I start to cock the gun. I'm not going to pull the trigger. I, I said, do you see that? She goes, well, just cheat it down and tilt it down a little bit like that. And I cock the gun. I go, can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? And she says, and then I let go of the hammer of the gun and the gun goes off. I let go of the hammer of the gun and the gun goes off. At the moment. The that was the moment. moment the gun went off, yeah. That was the moment the gun went off. It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. Right, because that really will get me sued. Well, now the Santa Fe sheriff has responded saying, and I quote, guns don't just go off. So whatever needs to happen to manipulate the firearm, he did that, and it was in his hands. What, what would you have thought if you, if you saw that as Alex's lawyer? I would have said, I told you so, and I would have, you know, probably pulled a uh, Harlan Braun and resigned uh, like he did in Robert Blake's case. I mean, you can't go out there. This is not a public relations issue. This is a criminal investigation. You can't go out there and then inflame the very person who is investigating you. You, as you said, you cooperate. You try to show that you are uh, anything but um, uh, uh trying to provoke them but they he's repeatedly done everything that he shouldn't do it's almost a textbook case of what you shouldn't do when you're in harm's way